Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. The SEC is demanding that Ripple hand over a bunch of private information. In this case, in the form of video files. And, and so there's a brand new legal filing. Uh, and I'm going to run through this thing. I read this thing. Thankfully, this one was only like five pages. So you can hear it right now. I printed up this bitch and highlighted the points that I think were, were most relevant. And I made some notes along the way to make sure I didn't forget some of the key things I wanted to talk about here. Uh, but I'm, I'm telling you'll see as I go through this the SEC is blatantly lying again and and the fact that they don't have the documents they want this is and during like the discovery phase it's their fault it's their fault and they're blaming ripple and and they even w w admit accidentally I think as much within this within this piece uh, and I'll share with you exactly what I mean on this but it's it's just a bunch of uh, hoo-ha and shenanigans and horse pucky as far as I'm concerned. But uh, before delving into this, I do want to be clear at the outset, I do not have a legal or financial background of any kind. I am not offering legal or financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto topics just as a hobby, though. Just for fun. That's all that's going on here, damn it. And if you don't like it, well, you can just get out. Uh, and so, uh, credit first to XRP community member and attorney James K. Filan, who shared this document all up on the Twitters. Uh, I tell you, he's my go-to source for finding the, these, these documents. I really appreciate the fact, I know everybody in the community does, but I really do appreciate the fact that he's so regularly sharing every single freaking update that, that happens here. And so, uh, let's go ahead, <laughs> let's just get into this now. Video files, video files and audio files. This is what the SEC wants. Uh, so they wrote as follows. Dear Judge Netburn, the SEC respectfully requests a pre-motion conference to seek an order compelling defendant Ripple Labs to conduct a reasonable search of relevant video and audio taped recordings of internal Ripple meetings in a manner designed to identify meetings where defendants spoke um, where defendants, I'm sorry, where defendants Bradley Garlinghouse, Chris Larson, and other key employees spoke on relevant topics and to produce responsive documents to the SEC. Now, um, in a response to a letter motion the SEC filed on August 30th of this year uh, to compel the production of certain recordings after Ripple had failed to disclose their existence during discovery, Ripple agreed to search all recorded meetings by the custodians of such meetings, uh, meeting name, and other criteria. So here's the thing. Look at how they're wording this, and this is manipulative. They said that Ripple failed to disclose... Uh, da, 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 da. that's a bad take on all of this. Uh, no, what happened is the SEC failed to ask for any video recordings because they're kind of inept. They're a bit incompetent from time to time. You've made just like a little, little, little traces of incompetent. Okay, little bit. Many traces, vast quantities of traces. I guess trace is the wrong word at that point. Uh, vast quantities of, of ineptitude. Uh, they didn't ask for what they're now saying Ripple failed to give them. What the hell kind of upside down world is that? This this is what the asshats do. There's a reason that I call them what I call them. It's disingenuous, it's unethical, and they're the ones that brought this upon themselves. And now it's Ripple's fault for not giving them what they didn't ask for. But they're pretending like they did ask for it. But, but then they admit in this that they did. You'll see as I go through this. Uh, so then we go to uh, page two. This is a good time. I love running through this stuff. And I'll tell you, like, even with me not having a legal background, I'm telling you, like, yeah, some of the legalese stuff, it's kind of hard to break down if you're not familiar with certain terms and this and that. I'm sure you've run through it. Like, if, you, if you're one of the people like me that has tried to read through any of these documents for the last nine months, yeah, I'm sure you've come across that too. But I'm telling you, a lay person reading through this and just getting the facts and reading through this, like, you can find... Uh, the, the ways in which the the SEC is absolutely being manipulative, the way that they're lying, the way that they're being unethical, it's very clear. You, if you have at least half of a brain and know how to read, you can figure this stuff out here. And so on this page, you can see they, uh, they wrote the following. Ripple's failure to search for and produce responsive recordings. Uh, in January 2021... The SEC requested that Ripple produce all documents concerning certain relevant matters and expressly included tape recordings and sound recordings in its definition of documents. Right. So you didn't say video recordings, which is what you're now asking for. Moving on. 
hold on. It doesn't get any better. It never does, though, right? It's like when I start one of these videos and I start reviewing this stuff, like, it's always the case where I'm like, yeah, it's, it's bad. It doesn't get any better, though. <laughs> it just keeps going downhill, my friends. This keeps going on downhill. Um, and so check this out then on the next page. Uh, the recordings Ripple has produced thus far demonstrate the potential trove of highly relevant uh, evidence uh, highly relevant evidence Ripple is withholding on the main disputes in this case, whether Ripple's offers and sales of XRP are investment contracts and therefore uh, securities under SEC versus W.J. Howey Co., and whether Garlinghouse and Larson had the requisite scienter for purposes of the SEC's aiding and abetting, abetting claims. So scienter, that's the legal term here for... Uh, uh, Garlinghouse and Larson knowing that they were doing something wrong. That's that when you see Scienter, that's that's what they're talking about here. I didn't know about that until this case came up because it's just it's basically just a legal term. Uh, but but this this is nonsense because look, the court has stated that what matters is objective reality. Like what has objectively happened? The facts. What has unfolded? Is it illegal or legal? It, it, the court. So the court has made clear, it's not subjective. It's what's objective that matters. So even if Brad and Chris thought they were doing something illegal, that doesn't mean that they were or weren't doing something illegal. What they sub what they personally believed doesn't mean they were or were not doing something illegal. It doesn't matter. What matters is whether or not XRP was sold as an unregistered security. Yet here, uh, they're, they're claiming that there's a, a potential trove of highly relevant evidence. That's the quote from, from the SEC. And, and Ripple's withholding, withholding it. Okay, well, that sure as hell doesn't make any sense, especially based on what the court has said. And it gets even more ridiculous. Let's go on to the next page now. Um, here we go. Oh, yeah, check this out. The SEC writes the following about the recordings. The recordings bear directly on the key issue in this case that Judge Torres or a jury will decide. Whether Ripple's offers and sales of XRP are investment contracts and therefore securities under Howey. The recordings produced so far are highly probative of, among other things, Ripple's efforts to increase the value of XRP, uh, Ripple's, Ripple employees' reasonable expectations of profit from Ripple's efforts, and Ripple's significant managerial and entrepreneurial efforts to maintain and further develop the XRP ledger. All critical evidence for purposes of a Howey analysis. So think about this. You know, if you believe what the SEC is trying to sell here, that means that anybody that tries to better any crypto ecosystem, uh, if they're a developer for any blockchain, and there's a cryptocurrency that's native to that with an open market price, you... Uh, suddenly magically become some sort of common enterprise. Uh, you, you become uh, and somebody that's, you know, people could just be counting on your efforts. Uh, because these are prongs of the Howey test. Those are two prongs of the, the, the four-prong Howey test right there. Uh, well, well, that's a bunch of garbage. But even, but here's the thing. Even if uh, the SEC's right and one or two or even three of these prongs are met, it doesn't matter because if you don't, uh, if you don't hit all four prongs of the Howey test, then you're not a security. You're not being sold as a security. Whatever the underlying ass is, whatever it is, it doesn't count as a security unless all four prongs are met. That's the way that this works. And so, of course, Ripple is doing what it can to foster a healthy XRP ecosystem. But XRP still doesn't pass the Howey test, meaning it's not a security. Uh, Ripple's success has had roughly 0% impact on XRP price over the years. And they are not a common enterprise. Okay, that's a prong in the Howie says. They are not a common enterprise, uh, which, which, like, it makes it, because here's the thing. X, Ripple goes away. XRP continues to exist and get traded on open markets. Okay, so what about Apple stock, a security? If Apple goes away, Apple stock ceases to exist because there's a common enterprise. So, of course, and that's a prong in the Howie test. Like, that's a hard line right there. That's a hard break. Of course the SEC is wrong. And they're acting like whatever is in this is going to somehow change that? Absolutely not. It don't make no darn sense to move my bow up in this bitch. And then you go to the last page of this thing here. 
Uh, SEC requested the recordings in January 2021, but Ripple failed to disclose them despite its obligation to do so. No, 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 that is not true. These are liars right here. These are lies. No, they didn't. And they even acknowledged what they actually requested in this filing, this very filing that I read. Where was the part where I said this? Let me, I'm, I'm crumpling up my paper now. Getting all hot and bothered up in this mofo. Because you know why? It's because this really steams in my vegetables. Uh, but here, yeah, so this is the part that I read before. Look at this. In January 2021, the SEC requested that Ripple produce all documents concerning certain relevant matters and expressly included tape recordings and sound recordings in its definition of documents. Ex did not say video recordings. They didn't request it, but somehow, magically, Ripple's just supposed to give over every file that, they, that the SEC didn't think to ask for. Oh, okay. And then they have the audacity to at the tail end of this stupid freaking document that was probably written by a freaking C student. They have the audacity to say that uh, the SEC requested these recordings in January 2021. No, no, no. You're a bunch of asshat liars. That is not true. You did not. You failed from your own ineptitude. Don't blame it on Ripple. That does not work. Man, this is a hot jam, isn't it? I'm telling you guys. What a bunch of BS here. Ripple failed to disclose. Ah, oh, go home, SEC. You're drunk. Like, seriously, just go home. Like, sleep it off. You might feel better tomorrow. But you're acting like a bunch of little baby back biachals right now, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm just going to wrap up this hot jam right here. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.